Well, it's only been a few days since Virginia Governor's Ralph Northam's uh, medical school yearbook page was made public, uh, showing that the governor had put a picture on his personal yearbook page of a man in blackface standing next to a man wearing KKK robes. Now, at first, Northam came out and said, ah, you know, oh God, this is so awful, I should have never done this photo. And then Saturday, he comes out and says, I'm not resigning, I wasn't even in the photo. So we've got a bit of conflicting stories here. First, he says, yeah, this is a photo I was in. Now he's saying, I was never in the photo. But honestly, it's almost worse if he wasn't in the photo, because at that point, he was just picking out pictures that basically embodied him as a person to put in his yearbook thing and said, you know what really says Ralph Northam to me? A man in blackface standing next to a man in KKK garb. That is Ralph Northam. I mean, either way, this guy needs to resign. And thankfully, Democrats all over the country, even those in Virginia, have told Northam repeatedly, you gotta go, buddy. This is unacceptable. Whether or not you were in the picture doesn't even matter. At this point, you have to go. This is unacceptable. It's inexcusable. You're gone. Northam says, I'm not going anywhere. Republicans have come out, had uh, Kevin McCarthy, House Minority Leader, say, Northam, you've got to go. Ronna McDaniel Romney, the woman in charge of the GOP itself, <clears throat> says Northam's got to go. And now to me, that's where things get interesting, right? You know, the Democrats did the right thing. They jumped on this immediately started calling for his resignation are still calling for his resignation. And then Republicans jumped in and they said, Oh, we can't have this kind of racism and politics in the United States. This is also awful. Northam has to go. And they're right about that. But Republicans need to kind of check themselves a little bit, right? I mean, yeah, you censured Steve King, but you didn't call for his resignation. You kicked him off committees, but he's still a member of the house of representatives. You, you got to do better than that. You got to get rid of him. You have to also purge your party of the racists you have been coddling for decades. Mitch McConnell posing in front of a Confederate flag with a big old smile on his face. That's just as bad. And he should go too. Lindsey Graham, all the horrible things he's said over the years, he's got to go. You can't call for one racist to resign just because he's a different party and then ignore all of the ones in your own. Especially, I don't know if Republicans have heard of this guy, but uh, it was his name. Donald Trump is his name. President of the United States, horrible, uh, horrible person. Let me read you this. This is from the Washington Post. It kind of just details a quick list of all the horrible racist things that Donald Trump has done over the years, both before becoming president and after. For years, he fueled birtherism to attack President Barack Obama. He once argued that a federal judge couldn't be impartial in a case involving Trump because as Trump said, he's a Mexican. We're building a wall between here and Mexico. Early in his presidential candidacy, Trump called for a total and complete ban on Muslims entering the country. In office, he ruminated on the United States needing more immigrants from places such as Norway and fewer immigrants from shithole countries, referencing Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries. How are those statements, those issues pushed by the president of the United States any different than Ralph Northam showing up in a yearbook from 1984 in blackface or a KKK robe, or just thinking that it's a great picture he wants to remember forever? It's not, there is no difference. Racism is racism and it has no place in either party. The Democrats were right to call for Northam to resign. Northam needs to resign. But Republicans, if they wanna call for Northam to resign, they've got a lot of people on their own side that they need to be calling for as well. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.